We can't always be endlessly swamped by negativity. What a day it is. The Indian Space Research Organization on Thursday successfully completed the docking process of the SpaceX satellites. Two satellites viewers came together millions of miles apart to do that. Look on your screens. They locked in. They tied into each other. The historic moment came just days after the space agency on January 12 brought the two spacecrafts to within three meters and then placed them back at a safe distance in its trial attempt to dock the satellites millions of miles away viewers. The space docking experiment mission was successfully launched on December 30th, 2024. ISRO shared the docking process of the SpaceX uh, satellites in a post on X and said that it begins with the completion of a maneuver from 15 meters to 3 meters, whole point, then docking is initiated with precision, leading to a successful spacecraft capture. Retraction completed smoothly, followed by rigidization for stability, docking successfully completed, unquote. This is what ISRO has said. Put this entire achievement into perspective. Let's go straight across to Union Minister in the Modi cabinet, Dr. Jitender Singh, MOS Space Department, as well as, of course, MOS in the PMO. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Jitender Singh, for speaking with me this evening. Uh, put this entire very significant development into perspective and tell us how has it come to be at such low financial cost to the Indian exchequer and fundamentally with total indigenization. Thank you, Rahul. At the outset, I have to thank you for having me over here. Uh, as you rightly mentioned, every Indian, you, me, every one of us feeling proud about it and also uh, it's been a wonderful journey in the last few years as far as ISRO is concerned, one stride after the other. I think it's also been, uh, let me start from there, it's been possible because of the new space reforms brought in. Uh, you see, we never had a dearth of acumen or potential or capabilities. If you recall those photographs, of uh, the archive photographs of Sarabhai carrying some of his saman on the carriage of the bicycle, uh, which means that we were devoid of resources, uh, not of human resource, but otherwise. Uh, and, 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 and possibly that kind of an enabling milieu which is expected from the level of the policy makers or from the level of the political dispensation was possibly not forthcoming. That happened only, started happening only after 2014 when Prime Minister Modi came in. And uh, just about four years back, the unbelievable happened because for 60, 70 years, the Department of Space has had been functioning in silos and they had reconciled to carry on like that when Prime Minister Modi allowed us to open up to the private sector, the wider participation, wider collaboration of which SpadeX mission is also one example because even though ISRO was conducting it, it had a number of other institutions also collaborating, uh, uh, whether in the private sector, in the public sector. And I think that's one of the illust beautiful illustrations of whole of science, whole of government, whole of nation. Now, having said that, uh, what makes uh, SpadeX different from other three countries, which are already there uh, as a part of this elite league who have this capability, is that this is a mission which is totally, totally indigenous from A to Z. Indigenous. That also gives us a tremendous amount of confidence and uh, self-esteem. B, that it's a very cost-effective mission like most of our other missions. We, Chandrayaan-3 costs just about 600 crore and this one less than 400 crore, which is absolutely nothing compared to the uh, corresponding missions by the other nations. And third and most importantly, that many of our missions which are lined up uh, in the months and years to come are going to have their own place uh, as, as space accompaniments uh, universally. Like for example, uh, our Bharat, Bharati Antarik station. We are looking forward to have our own space station uh, over there. Uh, which was so far only one station, the International Space Station. Then we look forward to have a human in space, the first ever human mission. Then we look forward to having a human, Indian human landing on the surface of uh, moon. So all these missions would require docking and undocking capability. In addition to this, uh, we also plan to get back the samples collected by Chandrayaan-3 back to Earth for further analysis. For that too, you require this kind of a facility available. Uh, then. 
maybe in the times to come when you think when you, when we realize that there is a satellite in place which is functioning well which needs to carry on for a longer while mm -hmm. uh, how do you re-energize it so this is a means of you know carrying payloads and uh, sort of refueling it similarly this uh, mission spadex also make becomes different from other similar missions by the other three nations is that we have another component called crop which means uh, experimenting uh, with orbital plant research uh, some seedlings have already started okay. coming up so so that if the astronaut is there for a longer while uh, what are the kind of vegetations or cultivations that can happen in the space environment uh, maybe later on we are also going to study space biology when the astronauts stay there for a longer while so so, so a lot you're saying is lined up in the future uh, dr saab a lot is being lined up in the future thank you very much this will really open and expand the horizons viewers for india's space research program taking us very far afield and allowing us to do things that we haven't been able to do thus far thank you very much for watching palki sharma up with the vantage next on go away viewers